Hey Jagala, I run the Black Dragons back. Well, welcome to you. Uh, welcome to you another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Music's pumping. Okay, nobody cares. Let's run away from that Goldine and welcome back. We are at the uh, power plant. Thank you very much for supporting me there. And we have the important missing part. So let's go talk to this very unstable human being right here and give him back his pretty baby's little part. Hey there buddy, I've got something for you. <laughs> yeah, the thing you have, is that a part of the, that was stolen from the middle of a generator? You found it, oh thank you so much. Now all I have to do is attach this part here. Yes, it's running. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and take this TM as a reward. TM fifty seven. TM fifty seven is is my charge beam. It will shoot beams, and it can also sometimes do special attack. Boy, you give me a headache. But Charge Beam, hey, that's an attack that I said earlier would be really freaking good for uh, Travour. Uh, not Shockwave. Where is it? Charge Beam. How strong is it? 50 only. It's not strong. Let's just have a quick look at what Travour has as moves. This charge is stronger, it also may cause paralysis. Uh, and that may erase the special attack. And it's even less accurate. Ah, uh, would it be at 80 as well with the attack? Then I would take it with 90 accuracy only. Because the potential of having, having special attack raised would be so strong. But as is, it's not worth it to me, no. I should have pressed the other, yeah, there you go. It's not worth it to me. You're still a very unstable human being. Why we love a generator? Keep pumping the electricity out to the provider. A pleasant life for Kanto. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Anything you wanna say about that? Since you turn... Since the generator's been fixed, the manager has been cheerful. That sounds so weird. I collect Pokemon. Oh, no, I still don't have any Pokemon to trade for you. With you, the generator's up and running. It makes electricity to spare. Well, that's isn't that what the generator? Whatever. Let's talk to everyone here. The generator's running again. Alright, we can finally get the man magnet train running again. Well, that's that's good, I guess. Really good, then. We'll have to beef up our security presence, so something like this will never happen again. Sounds good. Well, we did that now. Yeah, no, I may not look like it. And I actually don't want to look like it. Let's fly away. Ah, looking better again. Away. And now we're in seven. And I wanted to come here because here's the mag red, mag magnet train. Brain fart. Here's the magnet train station if I'm not wrong. And I want to take a quick look here and see if there's anything of interest going on now that we've dealt with that. Phew, how many times have I gone back and forth between Kanto and Johto? Don't know. Hey, do you have a magnet train pass? I have one. What people in Saffron who ride the magnet train have passes? Makes sense. Before the magnet train station was built, there was a house here. A little girl who was capable called Copycat used to live in it. Yeah, I know where she is. I already visited her. 
Thanks to someone who got the power plant up and running, the magnet train is available again. Passengers need to go through the gate for the automatic ticket check. Beep! I'm so sorry, but you need a magnet train pass to get on the magnet train. <clears throat> you know, instead of just being a freaking douchebag and sending me away, how about you sell me a freaking... Whatever. Whatever, just... Don't sell me a ticket. Go screw yourself. You know, I don't need a ticket. I have my Pokemon. I can fly. You can do your job. Still, I mean, kind of douchey. I wonder if Misty's now back here. Hi, there, buddy. Uh, yes. So I wonder if I get the gym up and running now that I've dealt with that. If I go up there. I don't know. Potentially so. You know what, let's go and find out. Might, might just be nothing. Might work. I'm gonna go and find out. Let's see if Misty is up there now. I, again, don't remember exactly how to trigger everything. And I know that Misty will not be in her gym originally. That you have to meet her up there and that you have to get her back down. The question is when will she be up there and I don't know if it's n now that we've dealt with the thing with the magnet train because that would be kind of nice. Because then we could technically deal with Misty in this episode and then move on forward and if not then we're gonna go and make a move towards Cinnabar Island then I think because I, if anything it seems like a nice thing to start off next just go into the water and deal with that next let's see is well there she, there she is okay Bye! Oh, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right. Pest. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Joto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to the Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. Well, pressing the wrong button. I wanna remind all of you that I'm horrible with the berries that we planted in this series. I'm just gonna fly back because there's no reason for me to go. Walk it. It's ten times faster. And let's just quickly have a look at the party. We look tasty. Also, we're talking about Misty, so... Trevor, I think we're gonna have a field day with that. So let's go in here and deal with them. Deal with it. And I definitely want to challenge all of them, because we already missed out on one trainer. I'm first! Come and get me! I will! Did you have to drink something there, or did you eat? were you eating something, or were you just swallowing because you saw- Oh, damn, he's strong. It might also be the case, I don't know. You tell me what was going on in your head. Yeah, won't. I think he's actually eating right now, and that's the gulp that he made. Oh, drinking. One of the bow. Two. I did not see it, I just heard it. Cedra, I do not care. I literally do not care. That thing will be discharged and be done with. Like, Saban! See? And goodbye. See? Told ya. Nice and easy. And that should deal with you. Wow, that was a lot of the XP actually. This can't be. It was though. You're welcome. Let me just quickly hop in here. I do not like they having to jump into the water to deal with all the trainers, but whatever. I can deal with it. 
Sorry about being away. Let's go on with it. I don't mind that you were away. You... You don't live in the gym. I understand that you want to have some free time as well. Especially talking... Like at... Half past eleven. In the night. I totally get that you don't want to be in the gym at that point. But... I mean, still, thank you for all coming out there and doing a job at that time. Just for one challenge that it is as well. R mad respects for that. And level up for Trevor. Nice. Oh, I love that special attack. And I give up. You're the winner. Thank you. I mean, it only needed one discharge to convince you that I'm the winner, so... Hi, buddy. I did not want to go through here regardless. I've been relaxing poolside. Okay, so I've got enough strength. Do you mean you've been relaxing by the poolside? I mean whatever. Assume Ariel, that will probably tank a hit or two because they are resilient little buggers. Let's see though. Let's see first. But I suspect at least... Huh? No? Was strong. Was strong though. Not strong enough though. You can't win with strength alone. No. There's also some brawn. There's also the brain in that brawn. I don't know why I want to call that one the brawn. That's the brain. But yeah. No, there's also some strategy in that whole mess. And swimming isn't just about speed. It's also about the beauty of grace. And also it's a good... Uh, full body training, so yeah. Oh, you're Joy. Are you one of the Joy sisters? Cloister. Your ice type as well, so focus blast potentially would be an option here. But I mean, discharge is good enough so far, so why change something that's not broken? See? Good, do you have anything else? Or... No. I lost beautifully. Sure. Okay, what is your deal? Let's see. Don't get nervous watching my magnificent magnificent swimming. That didn't wanna come out there. It was like a bird salad out of my mouth. A sea king. Beautiful. Deadly. As deadly as Trevor though? Well we'll see. So far you haven't been fast enough to be deadly, as deadly as Trevor is, so... Bad for you. And that's so much XP, I love it. Another Sea King. Well, making it easy for me. Not gonna complain about that. And I should have more than enough... Um, uh, PP to take on Misty as well, so... I Feel confident in taking her on right this instant, like right now. I don't know why I want to slip so much today. Well, whatever. Oh, we're gonna get level 55. You're not nervous at all. Cool and confident is what she said, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, yes, I'm cool and confident. Hey there, Misty! Your gym didn't even take half an episode, I'm sorry about that. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a... Have, you may have a lot of childhood gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Let's be granted, I'm not gonna take you lightly. However... I might take you lightly. See, this is Trevor. Oh, you Attack faster than I am. Ooh, so we might actually have a fight here after all. Now that's entertainment. I might actually take that back. That went by fast. And still, you got an attack in, so that's good. Also, level 55. Thank you very much for that. I wanted to slip again. I did not look at the stats up. Whatever. Quagsire. I'm gonna switch you out. Rufus? 
Fred, you can you go out. Wakesire is smart there. So we actually have a little bit of a challenge there from Misty. If she wouldn't have had that Quagsire, then that would have been a fast fight. Let's go for Dark Pulse. Yeah, Quagsire can tank some hits. You did not want to do Rain Dance with the rest of your Pokemon because Quagsire might be the only one to benefit from that really. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see about that. Ooh, that was close. I'm confident in Fred. Come on, show them your Pompadour! See? Isn't even bothered by it. The Pompadour held perfectly. Like, just a perfect curve up front. That's Fred. Not even concerned about anything. It's just the raw strength that he gets from the Pompadour. If Dark Pulse, however, could make you flinch, I would not be too upset about that, let me be totally frank here. Yep, just another Earthquake. Well, Fred! Ooh. Yeah, no, you are... Papador? No, it still looks good, but it's starting to come loose on a few ends there, but... <sighs> we can fix it after the fight. Don't worry, Fred. Don't worry. We'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. Yeah, beautifully done. With style and grace. Let's see what the next Pokemon will be. And... Lapras. Heltrevur. You can deal with that again. Fred, you can uh, groom your Pompadour. It would just be perfect. Well, then, Lapras. Let's get discharged. I don't see you going down in one hit. Yeah, close, but not really. Yeah, I thought about focus punching in the face. That might have been really strong as well. I chose not to because the chance of hitting with discharge is so much higher. So why would I risk not hitting? And goodbye. Do you have anything else or was that it? Star oh, you have your star me. Yeah, sure, send it in. That's probably faster than Trevor. Hmm, you're pretty good. Thank you. I'm still a pest though, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's faster than Trevor. I was suspecting that because Starmie and Staryu are both freaking fast Pokemon as well. So, I saw that one. Yeah, defense isn't as good as the one from Lapras though, so goodbye. They got one hit in. You made it count? It wasn't enough though. Looks like this is it. Sorry. You really are good. I'll admit that you're skilled. Here you go. It's the Cascade Badge. I received from Misty the Badge. Not the bitch. Here's another memento for this battle. Take it. TMO3. What is it? Rain Dance? It contains a move Water Pulse. It can sometimes confuse your foe. You managed to defeat trainers all the way from Johto. I'm sure you have a good use for it. I might. Oh, I also actually might not. Water Pulse is a special type move. So it's really not good for Rufus. And I don't need to teach a water type move to any of my other team members. So, I mean, thank you, but no thank you. And now I need to swim around because the dude is blocking my way. Which is a little bit annoying in and of itself, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, that was the fight against Misty. I knew from the very get-go that the fight against her is going to be easy with Trevor on our side. Because Trevor... no, Trevor is dizzy. Yeah, let's get you fixed up. Also, let's groom uh, Fred's pompadour. Because that got shaken. Shaken out of shape a little bit by the earthquakes. And Fred does not like that. Fred likes his perfect pompadour. No matter what. And earthquakes are one thing that can make uh, his pompadours fall apart. Because, I mean, the whole earth is shaking. Did I say earth shakes? Or did I say earthquakes? Jamie, what is it? Hi, Aaron. This is Jamie. 
Were you awake? No, I'm deep asleep right now. I'm actually sleep talking. But what is it? Do you remember my sweet Flaffy? No. Flaffy runs very fast. Cool. It's exhilarating to ride on its back when it's... It really gets going. Bye bye. I literally did not care about that. Who were you? I just let you get... We just exchanged numbers. I have no clue who you are. Well, with that, Trevor, you are officially my strongest party member now with level 55. So, the only one that we have not seen outside now was Rufus. So, Rufus, how are you, how are you holding up, buddy? Rufus is somehow fighting off sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's late. I get that. Okay, so we could go through here and get to that place. I, however, want to go the water route and go over to the Cinnabar Islands, then go up and around and then take on Pewter Town before we take on our gym leader in Viridian City. That's my plan, so let's fly down here. And get started on the waterways over to Cinnabar Island. And I think so far we have done everything except for the dark cave. And I don't really care about that place because I don't want to go for a dark cave. I hope you understand that. Oh. I have removed the boulder that was in the way. But it may still take some time to flatten the ground. Oh. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you'd better go south from Pallet Town. Oh, they make you go around that way. See, that's something I completely forgot. I thought you had to go around that way actually to get to Pewter. Because they would block you off right here. But apparently we have to do that. See, now don't I feel like an idiot. X on my face. How could I ever make such a mistake with a game that I haven't played in years? I literally do not care. Any complaints? Do with them whatever you want. I do not care. Well, I don't think I can. Yeah, that's probably still blocked off here, everything. So we need to go up the bridge and then up and around. This will probably take some time then. I mean, it's okay, it's totally fine with me, it's just a little bit annoying. So, whatever. I think we haven't been to the kid back there yet as well, so how about we pay him a little visit really quickly? Because I don't remember that we ever talked to you. And you're standing here rather suspicious. I heard of a ca cave here that has horrible powerful Pokemon in it. That's why I ca came here. Are you? My dousing machine is responding. Cool. Thanks for that in a little tidbit of information. That... Help... Me? Nice slowed down music. Like, I can appreciate the, that to a certain extent. Well, nothing to do but go forward. We might actually use a repel because I don't want to deal with too many wild Pokemon there. I catch really little Pokemon. And, I mean, we are so far into this series by now. We're getting closer and closer to the end, so I'm not going to change that. But I think I'm going to change that up a little bit for the next time we make have a Pokemon series going on. So, yeah. But for this series, we're not going to change that. Hey buddy, what are you standing guard for? This is the notorious Cerulean Cave. Horribly poke powerful Pokemon live here. Only those who have defeated all eight Kanto gym leaders are allowed to challenge it. Okay. If you say so. Bye. I can't go anywhere from here though. Is there then actually a way to go? I I hate myself for doing this the whole time. It 
not switch, fly. Let's fly here and see if there is then actually a way to get through the grass patches and then up and around. Because if there isn't then... I'm a little bit taken abroad by how I would get back to Pallet Town and all. Let's let's just see and try and find out. Before I, I cast suspicion upon something being a little bit borked, or me really forgetting something important on how to get forward, let's just take a look. Yeah, no, that's literally blocked off there. I don't know why I love that button so much today. So there's nothing there. Maybe the Diglett Cave is now open? But for the Diglett Cave, I need... A poker flute. For the poker flute, maybe I need to go to Saffron City into the Silk Cove. Also, I'm a green square, I just realized. I feel that. Okay, let's see. Maybe we get something here so that we can wake up the Snorlax. And after that, we can go and go through the Diglett Tunnel over to uh, Pewter Town. I did not need the Repel after all anymore. I mean, it helped me, but still. Yeah, because your power is back now. So, I should be able to go on here. Welcome, this is Silph Co. Head office building. Th thanks for all the rest information. It's Silph Co. It's Silph Co's latest product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. What is... The elevator? This elevator is out of order. It may electrocute you. Stay away. What? It's out of order. It may electrocute me. There's no other way up there. We dealt with the problem of the electricity. Was there anything else that I needed to head to? There was nothing there. I don't remember. I really don't remember right now. Let's have a look see around Vermilion City real quick. And I mean, if things don't work out for me, then I can always just look up real quickly. But let's just see. I'm pretty sure I did not get a poke flute, or did I? Because he says that it's. The latest product from them? Did I get something? There's a large Pokemon sleeping peacefully. It looks up. so content. Yeah, no, I, I. it's still in my way. I still can't do anything with it. Hmm. I thought for sure that I had to get the power generator. I also don't have a ticket, so I cannot use the Magnet Train. I legit have no clue what to do right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm gonna look up really quickly what it is that I need to do now. Because I'm legitimately stumped right now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode regardless. We defeated Misty. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I thought people would enjoy it. Anyway, hope to see you all in another video. Bye.